Hello, my name is Andrei Ignat, I am a C-Sharp MVP and in this video I'll show you one of my favorite tools. Today I will talk about caching data, usually caching data from database. Let's suppose that you have some data that is globally available to your application, to all users of your application. Uh, here I have an example, a counter list from database and we have the counter list for the whole world. Please add your country if you want to. And the operation to retrieve the counter list from database is usually somehow expensive because it involves network latency, reading from hard disk and so on and so far. It's true that the database also caches data, but this is not the point here. How we cache this data into the application? We could put a static uh, a static variable for this, but maybe we want to reread from time to time. Here the memory cache will help us. So let's see the code. The code says we have a static list of string, the country list, we have a key countries and we have memory cache dot default. These have the default memory cache. And the code is rather complicated but let me explain it. So we said give me from the memory cache with this key the countries, the list of the countries. If that if I do not find lock, I do not want two different threads to go to database and fill the list. So I lock with this lock lock me the new object and I try again to obtain the list of strings. Maybe some other thread kick in and obtain the, the list of, st of, of countries. If it's not null, I return. If it's null, I obtain from database, from this function, that the database here is a list of strings. And more important, it's obtaining data from database that it will be on a console. You will see why. And I obtain the data. I'll have a duration, daytime offset, five seconds, you could put more like one hour or something depending of the needs of the application of or daytime max value if you want to. And in the memory cache I put the key, the data and the duration of life of this available globally list. How we obtain this? In a console I obtained the country list and I wrote how many are. There are three for the moment. Then I wait one second, I sleep one second, the program sleeps, sorry, one second, and I obtain again country list. Because it's sleeping one second and the duration it was five, it will not pass on this line, it does not obtain because data is in the memory and will not be null. Then I'll be waiting, the program will be waiting five seconds and I obtain again because the duration was five seconds and I have wait one second and another five, that means six. The data will be again retrieved from database. Let's see in practice. So obtaining data from database, waiting one second, waiting five seconds and now it says again, obtaining data from database. So the conclusion is, it is very easy to cache data using memory cache default and putting with add or get existing or get. But you must, if you do not want to go twice into the database, you must lock with a new object, a static object that put the data. Thank you.